Welcome Commanders to Let's Play Command & Conquer. Uh, Command & Conquer is a real-time strategy game developed by Westwood and is uh, made possible to play on modern operating systems by a patch by Nyagoods, which I'm using today. Uh, to start off this Let's Play series, we're going to click Start New Game. And in this Let's Play, I'm going to play the Global Defense Initiative campaign. So I'll select Global Defense Initiative. Global and Defense small note, Initiative. I won't talk over the uh, cutscenes. Are you picking this up? Good. I know you need more deep background, but we're up against it. Non forces have fortified this beachhead at X16Y42. Intelligence is still coming in, so we can't tell you a lot. We found a chink in their armor. Commander Carter can sneak you and some backup forces on shore right here. You may get some artillery support from his gunboats, but this is mostly grunt work. The mission is simple. Knock out all fortifications. Eliminate all Nod troops. And establish a beachhead by building your base. Good luck. Okay, so first of all, there he's asking us to knock out all fortifications. By fortifications, I believe he means the uh, turrets. And uh, we can left click on a unit to select them, and then left click to give them an order. And you can left click and drag to select a group, and also left click to give a group an order, such as attacking another soldier or positioning on the map. We have units and vehicles such as a uh, Humvee, and also uh, this more important vehicle, which is a mobile construction vehicle. Which, uh, if I move it into a position where there's no nothing obstructing it, you can left-click on the mobile construction vehicle to con deploy the mobile construction vehicle. And now we have a mobile construction yard and a sidebar here, which gives us new options to build building such as a power plant so I'll left click on the power plant and whilst that's building I can even uh, give my troops orders on the map at the same time and here now the power plant is complete I can left click on the power plant and I can place the power plant anywhere close to other buildings that I already have placed on the map where all the squares are white uh, if there's a red square I can't cannot deploy so I'll left click and place the power plant here and here we have an enemy vehicle uh, not buggy so uh, it's attacking my building so I'm going to order my forces to fight back now I can also uh, now that we've deployed our power plant we can now construct a barracks so I'm going to left click on the barracks to begin constructing the barracks now the barracks is complete we can place our barracks which gives us a new construction option to build our mini gunners so left click on a mini gunner to build a mini gunner and then I can keep building mini gunners so I can create a decent force of mini gunners help us uh, clear out the nod forces on this map now you can also see here you can repair so that building that before that took some damage we can repair you can see the I click on it you can see the health bar going up here and you can also uh, see uh, your units health bars and groups of units health bars and you can also sell when you sell the buildings your credits are returned and uh, I think it's about half the cost of the building and also you can receive some infantry Okay, so as a little uh, side objective, you can try and complete this mission without losing any of your own forces. So what I'm doing here is I put the uh, Humvee vehicles in front because they have more health than the uh, minigunners. So they can take a few more hits before dying, so it's easier to keep them alive. So we're just going to... Uh, explore the rest of the map to find the rest of the Nod forces and uh, kill them off so we can uh, complete the mission and as you notice the areas which uh, haven't uh, explored yet are black but once you move a unit into that area that becomes explored and um, the, sh 
the black, which is uh, called Shroud, uh, will uh, stay away forever. It's, it doesn't uh, regrow in uh, these missions. So yeah, we'll just keep exploring the Shroud until we find the rest of the uh, Nod forces. Okay, and this one up there as well. Okay, keep exploring. So we were rewarded with a little cutscene there at the end of a mobile construction vehicle uh, unpacking into a construction yard. And uh, now we see uh, scores for the mission. And up top you got time. Leadership, uh, that's the uh, percentage of your units which uh, survived. So 100% uh, of our units survived. We had uh, zero is GDI casualties, so we got 100% on that. And efficiency is to do with uh, starting credits and ending credits. So uh, we ended with more credits than we started with, so we have 100% efficiency, which is giving us a total score of 200. And then you can see uh, GDI casualties, nod casualties, uh, buildings lost, GDI and nod, and ending credits. And on the left, we can uh, enter our top score. You can just enter your name and then press enter. So now we're presented with the uh, map of Europe. Well, some of Europe, not all. And uh, you can see the yellow territory is uh, GDI occupied and the red territory is Nord occupied and we are playing and the uh, teal color territory is uh, not occupied by GDI or Nord and uh, we can select where we're going to attack next and uh, actually we are going to go back to where we started in the next episode uh, we will be uh, taking on mission two, which uh, we we get to check in on how our beachhead uh, is uh, being established, and so uh, thank you for watching.